you want to film, you can. Uh, but no talking while I'm talking. Why did you tell me I didn't When I came in, I greeted most people, usually with the women. We do this. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. That's it. Watch. With the men, just saying. Now, this hand has touched a lot of people on this planet. Everybody, everybody from the first uh, general of the United States Air Force, to Thomas Sankara, Thomas Sankara. Yes, Thomas Sankara. I should tell Thomas Sankara. Say. One bullet is out Thomas Sankara. Yes, Santa. To Kenneth Kounda. Kenneth Kounda. You don't know who Kenneth Kounda is? Don't worry about it. Look him up. If I'm asked to Kenneth Kounda, so what I'm asking is about you. I say that. I say that. You check that one. Don't. That you know. When the Niazi. Now that you've touched his hand, that means you have the energy of all James Bond, all those people. You now have those energies, and you are now responsible for what they did. You have to do the same thing. Don't worry about what I just said. It'll be clear to you sometime in your life. One thing I learned from Kenneth Kounda, when he came up to speak, the first thing he did, he sang. I'm not a singer, but I am a poet. So I'm going to give you a poem. I just wrote this last week. When I was in India. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I say India. Hey, hey India so. people, where I was, they looked just like us, same color, and maybe they have all the hair is different. But <laughs> what, what is it, today the fifth? Yeah. I'm more messed up. On the third of July, <laughs> two days ago. Two days we minutes to lay on. Two days back. At 2 o'clock in the morning, I got in a plane from India and went into Addis Ababa, uh, Ethiopia, yeah. came down to Cape Town, then I jumped on a bus and I got here yesterday morning. That's why I'm tired. Oh, by the way, yesterday was my birthday. It's only birthday. I miss it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, I, I guess I got just, just so you know, that means that was my 74th birthday, which means that I'm, this year, I'm, 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 this is my 75th year going into this planet. So, so 74. So have mercy on my soul. <laughs> Not a moment. Warriors we be. I'm a koha. It's in It's not. It's what's called an autochthony quinsaba. I'll explain it to you after the poem. Here we go. Red Cloud stood us down these decades. Biting us in fierce warrior now time. For this every to all combat Phase. Freedom is our Aluta mantra heard today. Towards this goal, 
is what we pray. A prayer to lead us to this way. Mind troops weapons for their force decay. Okay. Now I'm a poet, which means I gotta not explain this to you because some words uh, you, whatever. First, I need to tell you my name is Anthony John Sloan. It says it right here on my passport. Sloan Anthony John. Oh, that's right. It's an American passport. Which means that I am an American, African, oh wait a second, I'm going to tell you something. Wait, 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 let's go here. And it also tells you that I'm, I got this from New York. I'm an American, African, made in the Mount Haven section of the Bronx. The African American, Ian Sway, Bronx. I'm an American, African, made in the Mount Haven section of the Bronx. How do I have to correct the interpreter? <laughs> what does that mean? I travel as an American. I travel as an American. Now, can I tell you, you can't talk while I'm talking? I travel as an American. <laughs> Let me go to the left part. I was made in, in the Mount Haven section of the Bronx. That's the South Bronx of New York City. The South is New York City. The African in the middle there. I know, I know you think it's a continent. That's what you hear. But what I know, what I mean. I have an African mentality. I have an African mentality. I am African. Now, for instance, we're in Zabalaza. <laughs> so you would be this is strange, a South African African Africa. Made in Zimbabwe, well, you know, wherever you are, Zimbabwe or Zimbabwe or whatever. You understand? You travel as wherever, whatever passport you have. You were made where you were made. But you're African. If you choose to be. If, if, no, okay. What this means is simple. When I, was at, when I was at the University of Fort Harris, I was reading uh, Mangalisa Robert Sabukwe. So he says to be African is to be humane, to be human. So if you are human, if you are humane, then you can be African. It's like that whole Kumbutu thing. Like, well, no, okay, we'll get, no, cut that one out. I'll get okay. that at some other time, maybe afterwards. So if you're not humane, if you're not human, if you're not humane, if I'm not human, if I'm not going to, you're not African. I'm not African. In fact, you don't even need to be on the continent. And I think no one will be able to go Go someplace else. Yeah, when you know, you know, take some money, go to Switzerland, or you know, you be, try to be American or German. You don't belong in Africa if you're not humane. 
ifa una kuntu au pilongi hapa chacha imali yona yo wangu yeswa Switzerland America kunda uya kuyo kuba au pilongi hapi Afrika so I talk too long right now already chacha kakulu so I guess I need to stop so I need to go oh but wait I have to say one more thing. <laughs> Why am I here? Wait a second. This guy is an American African made in South Africa. Why is he in several lots? It's a village. It's just a, the, in fact, him and his wife live in, in, in Gubevu. He hangs out in Zimbabwe. What's this boy doing here? Isn't he supposed to be driving a big car? Isn't he supposed to have a gate house? You know, with the... Why is he living in a, uh, what's it, an original, wait, is it an original, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that, apartheid legacy, uh, yeah, apartheid legacy, uh, what do you call that, what, what do you all call those things, uh, shack, what, what is it, shack, yeah. whatever, why is he living like that? Well, let me tell you, hey! Let me tell you, I have a purpose on this planet. And the purpose, I realized at some point in my life, is to change that circumstance that I came from in the South Bronx. How am I to do that? That's the <laughs> The first thing I realized is I have to what we call end racism, which is interpreted as white supremacy. You have to stop that. That has to be ended. As a system, how do I change a system that was put in place and everybody wants to to, to enjoy that system? It's a system of injustice. Everybody wants to be unjust. They don't want to be African, humane. They want to take advantage of somebody. They want to step on people. And anybody can join that system it was the, the people in charge of this is called the, the Anglo, the, it's called a system of Anglo racist white supremacy. Racist white supremacy. Now, you say, well, wait a second, how can anybody do that when the Anglo, no, the Anglo started it. But you, you could be. You could, it could be a system of, here we go, black racist white supremacy. It could be a system of a, a system of Indian racist white supremacy. I don't get really personal now. It could be a system of Kosa racist white supremacy. Oh, is it? Let me not leave the other people out. It could be a system of Zulu racist white supremacy. It could be a system, a system of Sutu racist white supremacy. It's an unjust system. System So we have to change that system. If we take it away, we got to replace it with something. Now, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., who I, I, I like this guy, he's, he, he's, he's 94 years old. And he studied this a long time. And he says, he says you have to replace this system of whoever, racist, white supremacy. With a system of justice. 
Then he def you have to say, well, what, is, what do you mean by justice? What is justice? And he says that justice is the guarantee that no one is mistreated. And those that are mistreated have to have to be have to have the most constructive way of help. So that's so we have to do justice. So my sense now, that's the overall goal. So, and I, 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 I'm going to end here. I really want to end here. So I'm going, well, how, how can I, how, how can little old me from the South Bronx, traveling around the world, actually do this? Hey! This is important. I have a skill. And it's a chord. Nothing up my sleeve skill. As you call up sleep side skill side. I'm an audio dramatist. We audio dramatist. I use audio drama. Seven side audio drama. To change circumstances. Some of you in this room, because we because we're starting theater here, we're gonna do something. Some of you will be involved in audio drama in one way or the other. As guided by me. I have secret weapons. Because most people don't know anything about what I'm talking about. Now, that young lady over there, that's Sino. She, well, I met her, well, I met her. She was, she's from, well, not, she's from King. That's where she was made in King. So she's a South African, African, made in King William Sound. Or Ponce, whatever you're calling it. Now she took part in a workshop I did in Danoon. That's what I did in Danoon. But what makes her special, it knows what it is, because when I taught at the University of Cape Town, this class in audio drama. She and Kainiso were in the class. Hey, I'm talking. I'm talking here. Yeah. 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 Listen to Miss Scully if you don't want to listen to me. Now, what happened was, University of Cape Town, you know, big, you know, da, 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 da. I made them, I said, you have to take some people from the township and put them in this class. I insist, I will not teach this class unless this happens. Oh, they said, well, brother, wait a second. Yeah, no, they say, wait a minute, okay, brother, no problem. I'm a nice guy unless I deal with the authorities, then I get crazy. So all I'm saying is that some people, remember we had a, how many people do Danoon, I've been working in Danoon, Felipe, uh, a bunch of townships here all around Cape Town. Every bunch of places. But the point is that few people know what she knows or experience the way she experienced. There's a, there's a lot of people in this room. Not everybody is going to be able to hang out. Not with audio drama because we're rough. We're rough, we're tough, we don't take no mess. We write, we act, 
Baya Ekja, we sing, Baya Kula, we dance, Baya Jaiba, and we do things you never thought could be done. We are the song is in the middle of the night. We are the song is in the middle of the night. up here correcting me as usual. Don't worry about it. We correct each other. We fill in, we fill in all the gaps. So with that, I leave you to your day.